episode is going to cover and deal with the issue of the difficulties people face unplugging their network of friends and loved ones when it comes to this type of information. I get emails all the time from viewers and subscribers complaining that they find a high level of difficulty in communicating this type of information and this type of what people call conspiracy to their network of friends. They tell me how um, people reject this information, people fight it, people laugh at you, people call you crazy, call you names. And this is very common when it comes to this type of thinking and this type of knowledge. And I faced it. I assure you that everyone else who delved into this realm of research has faced it. When I first started looking into this stuff and discovering this stuff and realizing what is wrong with the world, I felt like it was my obligation to tell and convince everyone around me of this new type of information that I have come across. But in essence, years down the line, I've learned that it does not work this way. A lesson comes to mind, and this is an ancient Chinese lesson where when teachers wanted to teach knowledge, they used to tell their students that when someone is thirsty, you give them half a cup of water. If they remain thirsty, then you supply them with the second half. This means that first, when someone needs to acquire knowledge, he first has to be thirsty for it. And only after his thirst has been communicated to you, you supply them with half a cup of water. You don't shower them with a full gallon of water, because this is only going to push them away. You give them half a cup. If they ask for the second half, you supply it to them. If they don't, it's not your responsibility. They will sooner or later in their lives. The best way for people to see and change their way of thinking is for them to experience the change, is for them to see and research this knowledge rather than someone telling it to them. So if you do care about someone or if you do want to share this information, you gotta be very subtle. You gotta do it in a smart way and you gotta bring the person in, you know? Ask them questions instead of supplying the answers. You're sitting watching the news with your friend and he's talking about certain situations being broadcast on the news. Ask him, why do you think this is this way? Why do you think these stories are covered? Through such type of discussion, rather than preaching, you will build a certain level of trust or a level of comfort between you and the desired listener. And this can help you now to take it to the next step, which is to facilitate ways for him or her to achieve or receive the knowledge that you find valuable. Then the ones who are ready to see and the ones who are ready to be unplugged will do so. Now why does this happen? Why would people reject such knowledge? Why would people fight such knowledge? Why would people attack you? Well, it happens most definitely for one of the following reasons. understand most of these people are not ready to be unplugged and many of them are so inert so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it
The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. If you can persuade people that what they see with their eyes is what there is to see, you're gone. Because they'll laugh in the face of an explanation that portrays the bigger picture of what's happening. And they have. Fox noise today actually suggests the fires may have been started by Al-Qaeda. An FBI memo from early, uh, from late in June of this year is popping up this morning and it's ominous. We had not stopped. You people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people. And when the 12th largest company in the world controls the most awesome goddamn propaganda force in the whole godless world, who knows what shit will be peddled for truth on this network. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to your gurus. Go to yourself. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. <laughs> Man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you that uh, Kojak always gets the killer and that nobody ever gets cancer in Archie Bunker's house. And no matter how much trouble the hero is in, don't worry. Just look at your watch. At the end of the hour, he's going to win. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We do it in a None of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You eat like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you television sets, turn them off now, turn them off right now, turn them off and leave them off, turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now, turn them off! the real world.